Hi, this is Kirsten from JK Fiber Arts, and today we are going to learn how to spin from the fold. This is comb merino top that I'm going to use to demonstrate how to spin from the fold. This particular comb top lends itself to spinning from the fold because it has the striped vertical appearance. To spin from the fold and to maintain the color blocks, uh, you're going to start by taking um, oh, you know, four, five, six inches, somewhere in there. I just pull a chunk off uh, of the end of the roving, and you're going to fold it in half, and you're going to hold it. You don't want it too long. I don't, you don't want it way down here, so you do want it to be not longer than your hand so you can hold on to this. Um, you're going to hold this fairly firmly, so you're going to fold it in half over your index finger, and then you're going to tease out a little bit of fiber from the tip of your finger here. Uh, in fact, let me open this up just a little bit. There we go. That way we can see the colors. There we go. Uh, so you're going to tease out just a little bit of that onto the tip of your finger. Um, I had already started this uh, because I thought it was recording, but it wasn't. So I'm doing it again. I just broke it off and we're going to start over. Um, but you can see already that I have these uh, blocks of color that are maintained. I was trying to just uh, skip each time I saw a repeat coming through. Uh, so uh, just going to join this here. So you'll see that it's drawing from either side of that drafting triangle and it's going to maintain that color block. So uh, the other thing that, that I do is at the tip of your fingers, I turn my hand down just a little bit uh, and that will also help to keep everything where it needs to be. And uh, this is just maintaining that first color block of blue. Now I'm going to be creeping in here to the purpley part. You can see it's maintaining that into the solid purple. Now, one of the things, and I, when I first started, I did not like to spin from the fold because my finger was always tired of sticking out like this. And I was like, this is hurting my finger. Uh, you do not need to keep your finger there. Uh, you can take this and just fold it in half and you can hold it down here and then uh, you can do the same exact thing And because once you started, the fiber will just come out automatically for you. Uh, let me advance this so we can show you on the bobbin when we're finished. Uh, and uh, you just keep drawing like this. And now we're going to head into that pink color. Forgot which wheel I was on for a second. <laughs> and now we're back to purple. And you just continue on like that until you get to the end and you have anything left in your hand. And there'll be occasional a little bit of blending of colors in there, but it will not be as dramatic as the barber pole. And then at the end, you can chain ply this and it will maintain those color blocks so you'll end up with something that looks striped um, when you uh, knit it. This is what the bobbin looks like spun from the fold and uh, you can see the colors are maintained here. Uh, you know, there's the blue, there's the purple under it because I didn't move the hook. Uh, this one has the blue underneath of it um, and I, I tried to move it as we went along uh, to show you each solid color, but eh, it wasn't perfect uh, with the movement. Uh, but um, you can see that it's uh, solid. Now what I'll do is I'll just do a real quick uh, straight spin on a, another bobbin and then I'll, we'll just compare them. So here we have the difference between the spinning from the fold bobbin on the left and the spinning straight from the uh, end on the right. And you can see, I pulled out a little thread here, so you can see the more solid color blocks. And obviously my twist came undone when I unraveled it here, but, um, and then you can see this one has the, uh, more of that barber pole effect. And um, you'll notice that on the right one, the colors are all just beautifully blended together throughout. And this one, they're uh, maintained in solid color sections. You can maintain the uh, solid color blocks uh, by uh, chain plying and it'll give you a different look than spinning end to end. 
So I just made a very tiny rough and ready uh, skein here. So this is the spun from the fold and chain plied. And this is spun just straight from the end and chain plied. And you can see there's just more blending and it's um, more of a, a uniform uh, barber pole kind of look. And you can see here, uh, the colors are more distinct. Again, this is just a very rough and ready spin. I didn't set any twist or anything on this. I just sort of whipped it out and pulled it off. Um, but uh, the one on the right has the uh, more solid uh, color blocks here. And the one on the left has more homogenized uh, patterning. And they're both beautiful. Um, one, of, one of the things that I've done a couple of times now is I will spin half from the fold and the other half straight and that will um, give me like a really nice subtle transition because I'll have the solid background colors and then that multicolor going through it and it looks really cool. So there you have it. That's how you spin from the fold and the differences between spinning from the fold and spinning straight. The bobbin on the right here is spun from the fold. The one on the left is spun straight. And this is uh, a set that I'm currently plying, which hopefully I'll post the yarn later. This is a beautiful skein that was spun from the fold, three ply, and then plied together. I love the effect on this one. If you enjoyed this and if you learned something and had some fun, Please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. This is Kirsten from JK Fiber Arts. Spin happy.